What I think we're seeing now, more than ever, is innovation. People are not just doing a traditional build and sell. We're seeing a real thought process about what are the pathways to home ownership, what are the opportunities outside our norm, and also how do we actually move to a build and operate model. The idea around being an early mover in relation to build to rent in New South Wales is a really exciting opportunity for the New South Wales government. Uh, we have a very progressive uh, policy around our future directions for social housing strategy and it was really ideal for us to be able to take the Redfern site as the first um, build to rent, mixed tenure build to rent in New South Wales and indeed in the country. Um, so we have, we're very fortunate in owning um, a site that is only a matter of uh, a very few kilometres from the city. It's around about 1.1 uh, hectares. It's fabulously co-located to transport and services and infrastructure and it really is a new model of housing and particularly for us it's a new model of social housing integrated with affordable and private housing. We know from all of the engagement we've done with the market, there is genuinely truly an interest in uh, the type of concept that we're putting um, out through the Redfern site. And for us, it also goes to the proposition of creating more affordable uh, private and social housing in mixed tenure communities, which in itself is, is a very innovative concept. The consumer response is probably one which uh, it's, it, it's a fairly simple one to think about. Um, and certainly if I, I sort of steal some words from, uh, from our founder and CEO I would say we don't need to teach people how to rent we just need to teach them that there's a better experience out there and I think that you know that has been uh, you know something we've seen both across the US uh, although it's a very mature sector over there but also into other new markets that we've gone into the viability of the sector will really hinge on you know really an acceptance uh, of, of what the industry is and what the sector is uh, you know there's certainly been a, a very deep process of education that's gone on with uh, both government uh, investors and banks as we've sort of worked through any of our proposals and and really spending time with various working groups that we, we've been involved in uh, so to get uh, you know ultimately scale into the industry and have it accepted as an asset class both by institutions but also consumers uh, it's really important that we sort of break down any myths there are as to what the product is uh, and then we have a tailored policy response that meets uh, the needs of build to rent the work we're doing with you know our partners in also breaking down some myths as to what the asset class can be uh, how it performs what it works like cyclically uh, and how it can be you know a great exposure for for investors uh, to really uh, create stable foundations of income from an asset class that you know, has a demonstrated long track record of stability. Part of ANZ's purpose is to focus on three issues that we care about most and those are housing, financial well-being and environmental sustainability. That means looking at housing not only for people to buy but also for rent and also to access. Build to Rent has a natural synergy in that way because it really allows us to look at long-term stable rental accommodation for more than a third of the Australian population.